You know, if you're, if you're so, uh, if you're so ignorant that you don't know that the American Central Intelligence Agency was smuggling heroin out of the Golden Triangle to support the Kuomintang, then you're too ignorant to function effectively in Washington. But on the other hand, if you're so naive that you think you're going to go and tell the American people about this, you are too naive to ever be effective here in Washington. You know, is there any such thing as the rule of law? Uh, or, in fact, uh, does this na- has this national security state risen to the point now where there's almost nothing that can be done about it? Uh, because both of the two political parties have joined forces in endorsing this major national security state bureaucracy, which is basically attempting to foist its economic and political and military hegemony uh, throughout the world. That you're basically inside Rome, you know, at the height of the Imperium. And therefore, what do you do about it? That's the right question, you know, that w- without, without a mobilized citizenry who are willing to stand and fight these people, uh, they will, in fact, exonerate each other uh, whenever you get them into the corner. They will fight you off and figure you can't get them to begin with, and they'll keep on pretending, a la you know, Judge Tice, keep pretending that, oh, if you can only get the evidence together, we'll really do something about this. You know, we'll have Karen Silkwood get up and walk in this courtroom. But then when you surprise them and you show that you can actually get the information and the evidence and put it directly in front of them, they will crap out every time. And they will not do this. So there's, there's serious work that needs to be done. That's the whole point of this course. What, what, what John Dingle did, what John Dingle did, as I say, he, he got personally angry at Stansfield Turner for ignoring his request to communicate with him about this, this distribution of nuclear materials around the world. And so what he did is he, uh, he obviously went to the lengths of, of commandeering this nas- national uh, security agency uh, satellite to monitor these people and prove absolutely that it was done. Uh, and, but what they do is they conceal the information in Washington. Even Dingle and, uh, and Peter Stockton never told anybody publicly about this. They, Dingle told, or Peter Stockton told us that they had found out this was true and that they had done it and that they confronted Stansfield Turner about it, et cetera. But they never did anything public about it, nor would the New York Times. You know, if you tell the New York Times about it, they won't, they won't do anything about it, you know? And so, so that... Uh, uh, the, it's, I'll, I'll close with this one, and it was, the, it was the thing I think I mentioned to you once before, but it's, it's worth repeating, that when, uh, when uh, Bob Fink, who was the investigator for Bella Abzug, the congresswoman I mentioned from New York with the great big hats and stuff, who chaired the, uh, the House Judiciary Committee Subcommittee on Human Rights, uh, that when he got seconded over to the investigation of the intelligence abuses, the national security state intelligence abuses, that he told me, uh, he served as one of our investigators, he told me when I, when I communicated to him the stuff about the heroin smuggling going on in Southeast Asia and the, the smuggling of that heroin uh, through, through the Corsican Mafia into Cuba and that there was an entire Central Intelligence Agency officer, Paul Halliwell, in Havana that was actually you know, shipping in this heroin and it was being sold by Santos Traficante and the Mafia up in the United States, and the profits, part of them were being used to buy military equipment for the Kuomintang in, in Formosa against the, the national, uh, on behalf of the Nationalist Chinese. When I told him, that it looked, you know, the evidence that I was getting was showing that the Central Intelligence Agency was not only acquiescing in this being done, they were actively participating in it, providing aircraft and helicopters to fly this stuff around. And, and he, he laughed, and he said, look, you know, if you're, if, you're so, uh, if you're so ignorant that you don't know that the American Central Intelligence Agency was smuggling heroin out of the Golden Triangle to support the Kuomintang, then you're too ignorant to function effectively in Washington. But on the other hand, if you're so naive that you think you're going to go and tell the American people about this, you are too naive to ever be effective here in Washington. So, so understand what that means, and that that's a credo of the newspapers and the journalists 
and the staff people in Congress, it's all part of a clique that exists inside the Beltway that govern the country. And there's two political parties in it. 